Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim Assalamu alaikum Salar Khan here and with the next example on discrete time convolution so today we discuss is example 2.3 2.3 yes yes so x of n is given to be alpha to the power n u of n and the range of alpha is uh, 0 and 1 and h of n the impulse response of the system is unit step signal which is u of n and we are asked to find y of n which we know is summation k running from negative infinity to positive x of k h of n minus k and this thing is unknown fine so you know the steps you know that in step number one you do what? You interchange the variables. X of k. So x of k would be alpha to the power k u of k. So alpha to the power k, if alpha is between 0 and 1, this means that this is a, a decreasing exponential function. So, so if you have this at 0, so 0 would be 1, right? Yes, because anything to the power 0 would be 1. This is at 0 and then it would be an exponential decrease. Fine. And it would be 0 at the negative side. This is your x of k. Now, the next is h of k. So, h of k would be u of k. So, it means that it would be greater, it would be 1 for k value greater than or equal to 0 and it would be 0 to the left hand side fine now the next step is the shifting so h of n minus k so if you have h of n minus k so this is let's say i draw it over here h of n minus k now if n is negative you shift it to the left if n is positive you shift it to the right so let's say first for n less than 0 so it would uh, well first h of minus k first h of minus k so h of minus k would be what it would be the mirror image about the y axis so at 0 negative 1 negative 2 now it would be 1 at the left side and it would be 0 at the right side so now h of n minus k so if this is 0 and n is negative so it would start somewhere here and it would go till negative infinity so which means that h of n minus k is 1 from negative infinity till n now we, we, we find the product so y of k let's say the first case is for n less than 0 so because uh, we don't have the product the product would be 0 y of n this would be 0 for n less than 0 why is that why is that because in that particular case your x of k is 0 x of k is 0 so we don't have any product we don't have any overlap this was for the n less than 0 now for the value of n greater than or equal to 0 if uh, now the case is that your h of n minus k this is like this if this is your 0 n is somewhere over here so you have shifted h of minus k towards the right now so n is let's say somewhere here so now the value of this function would be 1 from negative infinity till n fine so now the product of this function have a look this x of k is existing from from 0 okay it's starting from 0 and this is existing from negative infinity but where is it going it is going towards positive infinity and h of k is going to and so the product will only exist in the interval 0 to n 0 to n 
if we have somewhere over here let's say n so the product would exist in this particular range so i could write it as y of n is equal to summation k running from negative infinity to infinity x of k is what x of k is this particular thing so i could write it as alpha to the power k u of k would just suggest a one this value is what and then you have h of n minus k which is again one so you write it as one again so you don't need to write it now the summation is this particular thing negative infinity to positive but have a look i told you this is existing from zero to n zero to n alpha to the power k and for this we have a formula and what is this formula uh, if you have a, a, a summation that is somewhere k running from zero to n any finite value you have alpha to the power uh, to the power k this would be one minus alpha divided by uh, wait let me confirm one minus alpha to the power n plus one divided by one minus alpha this is your formula so you apply it over here have a look alpha is alpha and then your n is n and so so it's it's directly applicable so the answer to this is that y of n is y of n you could write it as like this so y of n is equal to 1 minus alpha to the power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha this is for n greater than or equal to 0 so now if you generalize it this one for n greater than or equal to 0 this is for n less than 0 it's 0 so what does this mean i can write it combined and how can i write it i can write it that y of n is equal to 1 minus alpha to the power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha this is for n greater than or equal to 0 so if it is 0 for n less than 0 so you can multiply it with a step function u of n which means that if i if i'm writing this function that would be fine for n greater than 0 but for n less than 0 it will also have some values but our output over here does not have any value for n less than 0 so i would multiply unit step function with it so now this would be for all values of n this would be now for all values of n and this is our final answer the book has uh, drawn the the graph as well so you can draw it for yourself uh, it's like this your y of n is something like this till zero uh, you have it zero on the negative side and then it's sort of an increasing function and then it goes somewhere constant and this constant value is what this is 1 over 1 minus alpha this constant value is 1 over 1 minus alpha fine so that's all about uh, this example example 2.3 now example 2.4 is a little lengthy it has a little problems so uh, i would do it in the next video in this video i go to example number 2.5 directly okay so i remove this all right now example 2.5 so uh, the question is that x of n is equal to 2 to the power n 2 to the power n into u of minus n and the impulse response is again a step function so h of n is u of n fine and the output y of n is unknown fine so let me draw these first now x of n is 2 to the power n u of minus n so first i draw 2 to the power n so 2 to the power n means what 
2 to the power n means you have a 0, 2 to the power 0 would be 1. Then you have 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 1, right? Then you have, a, wait, let me make it a little smaller. Then you have a 2 to the power 2, and then you have a 2 to the power 3, then you have a 2 to the power 4, and this would be increasing in such a fashion. Fine. Similarly, at the left hand side, you have 2 to the power negative 1, 2 to the power negative 1, uh, 2 to the power negative 2. So this would be decreasing in, in this particular manner. At this side, it is increasing. At this side, it is decreasing. So our function is what? It's 2 to the power n multiplied a u of negative n. So you have to, which means you have to drop out the positive side. We only have to remain with the negative values of n. So 0 is also included in this particular case. Your function is now x of k, which I am drawing it like this, x of k, fine? Which is 2 to the power k into u of negative k. So this would be like this. If these are the values of k, at k is equal to 0, you have 2 to the power 0, this would be 1. Then you have 2 to the power negative 1, so uh, let me draw it a little bigger. Then at negative 1, you would have uh, uh, 1 over 2. Then at negative 2, you would have 1 over 4. At negative 3, you have 1 over 8. Negative 4, you have 1 over 16. 1 over 32 at negative 5 and so on and greater than uh, 0 this would be 0. Now I believe u of n is uh, uh, no it's fine so that's fine now then again you are uh, h of n is the unit step function then you have your h of k then you have your h of minus k so let me draw h of minus k so h of minus k would be 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. It would be 1 at the negative values and it would be 0 for the positive values and this is k. Fine. The next thing. Now you have to shift it. So first let's say for the negative values. So if you have h of now n minus k. And the first case, if I'm taking for n less than 0, so it would shift towards the left to n. So, so, so it would be 1 from negative infinity till n. And it would be 0 at the other positions. Isn't it so? So now if you find the product of it. So have a look. The uh, one function, one function is existing from negative infinity till 0. The other function is existing from negative infinity till n. It's not existing between n and 0. So what do you have is the product that is y of n which is the summation k running from negative infinity to positive x of k h of n minus k this would equal what? The summation would not be from negative infinity to positive. It would be from negative infinity. K equal from negative infinity to, to n. To n, right? And the value of the function x of k, which in our case is 2 to the power k. Isn't it like this? It is. Now uh, they have changed the variable. Uh, they have changed the variable. So the variable change this mathematical operation I am so weak. Okay. I just don't know about them. So you know them better than me from your mathematics. So you can even do it better. Now from this point I don't know what am I going to say. So it follows that for n less than 0, you have this to the power k, fine. 
change of variable such that we have another variable L which is equal to minus of K and we have another variable M which is L plus N. L plus N. So what do we have is uh, now L would be running from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay. Uh, from this they have made, I will come through it again, y of n which is equal to L is from negative n to positive infinity. L is from uh, negative n to positive infinity. 1 over 2 to the power L. And this is equal to m running from 0 to infinity. And 1 over 2 power m minus n. And then you have this equal to 1 over 2 to the power negative n they have taken outside. 1 over 2 to the power negative n. And the summation m running from 0 to infinity. 1 over 2 to the power m. which is equal to 2 to the power n into 2. So it is 2 to the power n plus 1. Now how have they done this? How have they done this? So infinite sum formula of equation number 2.20. So let me go to equation number 2.20. Yes. So if you have a summation of this form, if you have a summation that k is running from 0 to infinity alpha to the power uh, you have alpha to the power k so this would be uh, what this would be 1 upon 1 minus alpha so this is what they have used now uh, first of all the change of limits so which I don't know I'm telling it again but we can have a look together so now k is equal to negative of l so have a look, we have interchanged L. So if L is, uh, if K is negative infinity, L would be positive infinity. So, uh, so which means initially they have uh, left a step that is L running from positive infinity and then when uh, K is equal to N, so L would be minus N, minus N. And then they have 2 to the power uh, minus of L. Right? 2 to the power minus of L and now what they have done they have interchanged the limits so negative n to infinity so they have they should also have changed this uh, well I don't know what they have done the change of limits I am very sorry I don't know this and then they have done L is equal to negative n they have put m equal to L plus n so if L plus n is 0 this would be L, L plus N would this be M is equal to 0 this would be infinity fine for L they have put M minus N then and then they have used uh, this formula so it's all clear it's all clear but the the, the uh, ambiguity lies here which I am very sorry I would also be sorry in the next video okay these Mathematic limits and this I I don't know it So that's all about this It's 2 to the power n plus 1 for what? for uh, For n less than 0 right? For n less than 0 yes Then for n greater than or equal to 0 Now if you have for n greater than or equal to 0 so if I have h of n minus k and this is for n greater than or equal to 0, so this would be to the right, this would be n, this would be 1 from negative infinity till n. So the product that is y of k would be existing not from negative infinity to positive infinity but from negative infinity till 0. 
because this function is still 0. It, so 0 to n will not be included. So this would be from negative infinity to 0. And what would be the product? That is 2 to the power k. This is 1. So the product would be 2 to the power k. Fine. Now again we have some change of limits. I don't understand. Uh, they have k uh, as negative of r. So, so this would now equal what? If k is negative infinity, r would be positive infinity. And this is 0, 0. So 2 to the power minus r. Fine. Now uh, this a friend told me if you have uh, the limits are interchanged. Let's say if you have it from r equaling 0 to infinity, you change the sign inside. That is 2 to the power r. So what do you do is now you put back r value. So 2 to the power r equals 0 to infinity. 2 to the power r means 2 to the power minus k. So I could write it as 1 over 2 to the power k. So uh, this would be what now? Uh, uh, this is from this formula. Uh, 0 to infinity alpha to the power uh, k. Uh, so this would be 1 over 1 minus alpha. Alpha is 1 over 2. So you have it uh, the, the, the y of n. This would be 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2, which comes out to be 2. So it's 2 in one case. It's 2 to the power n plus 1 in the other. Now over here, I told you that if we change the limit, we change the uh, sign inside. Over here, if I change the limit, I change the sign inside. They have not changed it. So I don't know. Please ask your mathematics teachers and do let me know as well. Let me also know, okay, uh, in the comment section because I need to know these basics. So that's all about this example. The graph uh, of, of y of n, it's, uh, you know, it's given again. Uh, so you can uh, check it from here. At 0, uh, this would be 2, right? Uh, so let me draw uh, it over here, y of n. This would be n. At 0, it would be 2. Then uh, and and now this over here, find greater than or equal to this is two. So this, so this would be two throughout. This is two throughout the positive time. And for less than or equal to zero, it's two to the power n plus one. So it's one one over two one over four. It's one. Then you have a one over two. Then one over four then 1 over 5 and this time so the group so so it's given 1 over 8 sorry <coughs> 1 over 8 this is so that's all about it for me you have a homework what's the homework you need to know you need to understand the change of limits of summation This is your homework. For me, that's all about this video. See you in the next video very soon, inshallah, with example 2.4. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.